guys welcome back so I know you all love how much we love shopping so we have decided to do a haul video so we've been back a few weeks we've been meaning to film this for ages but we've just been busy with work and other bits and bobs so we're about to show you what we bought and um, we realized it's quite a bit do you know some bits I've looked at and think oh I thought we bought more like Disney, we've just not bought enough Disney no. merch. But had we been in Disney, then there would have been a wait completely for next time. different case. Right, let's start off with Disney, what we did buy in Disney. So the first, well not the first thing, it's not in any particular order, we're just starting with Disney. So Vicky got these Crocs. So I saw these and I was absolutely loved them and I was like, right, I'm going to buy them when we get there in September. And then I thought, if they're not there, I'm going to kick myself. You will. I love them. She bought you'll see in a t-shirt to match and she wanted the joggers but they weren't in stock but they were 69.99 oh speaking of t-shirt here it is so it's got all four packs on it there and on the back and it says Walt Disney World I absolutely love it I think it's so cool that was 34.99 so not too bad no reasonable really um we got these socks in the outlet which was a really nice find they're not overly thick or anything but they're for vicky and they were 4.99 so a, a really good purchase from the outlet and this guy so you might have seen it in the vlog but i did make the purchase it's got all of the characters on so you've got mickey really soft, Minnie, goofy donald daisy pluto it's just so cool. I can't wait to wear that. We need an occasion to go out and wear it. Well, let's go out. They don't like to book a table for tea somewhere. I can't wait to wear it. To How be much is that? That was sixty. Well, did you write it down because I know I'm gonna forget these. Sixty-four things. ninety-nine. Six, yeah, so not cheap, but it's worth it. Do you know what? We save all year. We don't really spend that much when we're home because we're just working so much. So you sort of save and just spend what you want. Like you'll see some things coming up from the outlets that you probably could have got cheap in the UK, but the thing is we don't see them things in the UK. So it's a case of see it, buy it. It's not just about it being a bargain, which we buy some things because they're just bargains, but sometimes you just see it, you want it. So we buy it. Yeah, that's why we save all year for things. Uh, next up is me. I look at this jumper. So everyone knows if you've seen, I love a good sweater. It's and nice that, isn't it? Walt Disney World pink. I absolutely love it. That was a fifty nine ninety nine. So I absolutely love this jumper. That's not too bad, really, for a jumper. No, and a really good quality. Yeah. What you got next here? Well, I have a jumper as well. So I bought this on the first night. So it's got Mickey of Space Mountain. Oh, I well, love it this. seems like Space Mountain. If it's not, drop a comment below and tell me what it is. But I think it's Space Mountain. Can't be. And. The back is just absolutely amazing. That I mean, normally brilliant. you just get that in spirit jerseys, but I'm a sucker for a hoodie. Oh, she, so she's always in a hoodie, this girl. I can't wait to wear this. Now. How much was that one? It was. Let's have a look. It was. That hoodie was fifty four ninety nine. Which isn't too bad, really. I mean, my shirt was more than that. And I'll oh, wear yeah. this more. Yeah. Oh, you wear that all the time, won't you? At least I can wear it now. Next up, look a small well pin. So. We've got a pin board up in our um, bedroom and it's a hexagon pin board and on each hexagon is the year we went with pins that just remind us of that event so you'll see a future pin coming up in a minute but anything that we've rid or gone in a new area or just reminds us of something. So for this small well pin, I know we didn't go in Disney this time but I lost my sunglasses on a previous trip, if you know you know. And uh, Vicky brought me this as a bit of a joke to remind me of Small World and me losing my glasses. So we, f we didn't get one last time. We, we tend to just buy a couple per trip. We're not going, we don't go crazy with pins. It's just, there's a couple and that just reminds us of our trip at that point. Yeah. Did we get any more pins from Disney? Or was that uh, just... No, that was just the only Disney pin we bought that one. So that is all of our Disney merch, which for us, it's just, it's just not enough Disney. But we're back soon enough, so... That is where we will go absolutely mad for Disney. So next up, we've got what we bought at the airport. So we've had quite a few comments about these. So I don't know if anyone's seen them before or used them, but what was buying them are a set of headphones. And the lady, Wireless ones. And the lady at the till said if we wanted 
to connect our headphones to the plane, then we could buy one of these. It is called an Airfly Pro. So basically, you plug that into the screen in the plane and you connect your headphones to it via Bluetooth. For some reason, I could only figure out how to connect mine to it. I've yet to figure out how to work Emma's. But yeah, I'll apparently it's two devices at once, isn't it? Yeah, apparently so. But apparently someone also told me that on Virgin that you can connect your wireless headphones to the Virgin planes anyway. Which we didn't know, so we'll no. find that out in September and let you know. Yeah. But it was brilliant for you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really get, good. I just sat with my out. AirPods in and it, it was great. Yeah, normally you get the wire out to your headphones, but this time yeah. with the AirPods you were able to use them. So that was thirty four ninety nine. It was at a discounted price due to the fact of we bought a pair of headphones yeah, so we was able to get a discount on it. And so. that being said, I got my headphones. Uh, they're one hundred forty nine ninety nine. I don't know what model they are. I'm not somebody who's very uh, on tech. With. ULT Sony, something like that. Yeah, uh, really nice headphones, and they're noise cancelling. Like, like I say, sorry, I don't know the model, um, but these are amazing. They really did cancel out everything, and I've never had something like this before. So for me, they're amazing. They really ma they changed the flight. I was able to just sleep through and not hear nothing. Yeah, so. I've got some Beats ones, and they were loads comfier than my Beats. They fit, like, proper around your ears. Like, it's just like you feel like you're immersed in something. They're really cool. Yeah, real great. So next, we'll show you our Universal merch. Emma, you've forgotten something from the Disney section. <gasps> I did. It's not Disney, but we bought it in Disney. So we found this in Disney Springs. So if anybody's wanting a Stanley Cup and cannot find them anywhere... Because they're hard to find, apparently. If you go to Disney Springs and go in Ron John's surf shop, Many There's colours. loads of them. It was a forty nine ninety five, I believe. Let me look at the Disney. It was forty five dollars. This, and I absolutely love it. I've wanted one for ages, and I saw in the Coca Cola shop a Corsica, which was the sem similar s style, and that was forty nine ninety five. But I really, really wanted a Stanley, and I just can't justify the price on something that's an equivalent or so I just thought to myself, do you know what? Just get the real thing. Um so yeah, forty nine uh, forty five dollars and I absolutely love it. I've used it loads. It is brilliant. You're actually drinking while using that. I think. Oh yeah, definitely. I bought it for work but actually I've used it at home loads and took it to work as well. Yeah. So yeah, now to the Universal merch, which even before when we went to Universal we we never really buy that much Universal merch. It's more Disney for us. Um, but we did buy a bit of Universal match, so yeah, we'll show a few you. Things. So we'll start off with. I brought one of these. Met this was in the park. This was from. So it's just those um, metal plaques, um, registration plates, aren't they? Yeah. And I, I want to. I've just sorted out my garage and I've got it organised and I love my garage and my little hobby area and I just wanted to start off by getting a couple of these and putting them around the garage wall. So each time we go on the trip, we can pick up like from a new area. A new ride, and there's different ones, isn't there? Within um, the Universal, I've seen. Yeah. But yeah, I just want to pick up a few each time and just add to my garage wall. So it's just something I've, I wanted to start. So yeah, I've got the Florida one to start off with, and this one was thirty-four dollars. So absolutely love this one. And we got this one, the Jurassic Park version, which is really cool. So this was real cheap compared to the one you bought. Uh, this yeah. was sixteen dollars. I absolutely love it. We could only find this certain one in one store, which was near the River Adventure ride, but it's really cool. Yeah, and um, I've, I've seen, like, there was a Back to the Future one, and there, there was many others, but like I say, if, if just get a couple of trip, or one or two a trip, then over the years I can add this collection up. So it's begun that collection now. Oh, we actually bought some pins from Universal as well. Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah, so we bought a Wizarding World of Harry Potter pin. I mean, we don't buy many pins, obviously, but I just thought this was really cool because there's not many, like, Harry Potter pins about, apart from, like, characters and stuff like that, and it just said the Wizarding World, so I thought it was really cool. And then there's a Velocicoaster pin. So, I'm a bit of a wimp on rides. I close my eyes the whole way around if it's too scary, but with Velocicoaster, I was petrified about it. So my wife thought it would be really, really nice again, like she did with the Small World one, to commemorate the ride by buying the pin. Like I say, we buy them for a reason, so when I look back on that hexagon on the wall, I'll definitely remember that I did Velocicoaster for the first time. You were brave. It's like, do you know when you go to the dentist and you're brave and they give you a sticker? <laughs> I buy Emma a pin. 
Thanks. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> and last of the pins, we got the Endless Summer pin, which is... There we go. This is the Endless Summer pin. So there wasn't a specific dockside version. There was just the Endless Summer, because as there's two Endless Summer resorts, they just do one pin. So we got that one. It was pretty cool. Yeah, we tend to always get a hotel one, don't we? And yeah. And we remember everything from that, like I say, hexagon. It's just one little thing we've done. I'll put a picture in of the uh, pins if I remember to put it in. <laughs> right, oh, what's up next? Go on. Right, so we got the refillable mug from the park. Uh, this was it was um, 18.99 if you buy one mug, 16.99 if you buy two mugs, and then it was a cheaper deal for three. But I can't remember how much that was. And um, these were amazing. I mean, at the very end of the trip, I didn't drink enough. But on the day that I didn't drink enough, we didn't use these. But when we were in the park, it was like 35 to 40 degrees every day. And you can refill them every 10 minutes around the park for the, the duration of your time in there of that day. And they are so worth it. They're worth the weight in gold, aren't they? Oh. Like, they're 100% worth the price. Like, you pay like 5 or $6 for one drink anyway. So by the time you bought like three drinks, you might as well have bought one of them because you can just have as many, like every 10 minutes you can have a drink. It's mad. Yeah, it's not just, you know, the freestyle machines. It's not just pop. You can get like water, different flavoured waters. and You can get like still versions. Yeah, so we, we drank a, a variety of stuff. It wasn't just like pop, pop, pop. But yeah, you can get so much in their machines. It's like a hundred different drinks you can get in them. It yeah. said, didn't it? I mean, we and then the ice is on top of that as yeah, well, which are really ices. good. But yeah, these were, so it's 16.99 for us. We also bought the uh, carry holder, which was $16. And again, game changer. But it might seem like a lot of $16, but we're gonna use it for years to come. Yeah, cause we don't like to carry massive rucksacks in the park. No, it's the so park where we use you're our You're either carrying a cup all day, or, so we don't want, we just didn't want to have to like hold the cup all day. We thought it would be a bit of an inconvenience. So just literally put that around. It's like a, a tiny little bag and it's mint. You just, don't bother you, does it? it? Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it's really probably good. Probably one of the best purchases I've had this whole trip. You can probably that. find them on Amazon and stuff, but I'd definitely recommend getting one. If you don't carry a big park bag with you, if you just take like the minimal like we do, I'd definitely recommend getting one because it's so much better than just holding a cup all day. Yeah, brilliant, weren't they? Yeah, really good. Oh, next up we have a Bank shopping life. bag. I think it's the same pattern on the back as well. Yeah, so when we went into the... It was in the hotel, wasn't it? The shop. Yeah, it was. The gift shop brought something in there. We just... It was $5. We love a good bag for life. Uh, when you're shopping, it just reminds us of that trip. So... We I mean, to be fair, every time we go to the supermarket, we forget they're in the car anyway. Oh, but we still like to have around the house, isn't there? But yeah, yeah for, for $5, we thought, why not? Let's get that. What else we got? Oh, right. So, because I, we bought our annual passes... I bought myself a new lanyard and I had this from before with my annual pass in but we bought the new lanyard uh, just one this trip annual pass one because last time I got the Cabana Bay one, Cabana Bay one and I just didn't want to if I was going to use it I just didn't want a Cabana Bay one I wanted an annual pass one so yeah that was $16 I believe Let me have a look that was $14 so it's pretty, not too bad really no I'm pretty you'll use it every trip yeah and if not then I use them for work all the time, lanyards, but yeah, normally I buy so much more lan yeah, lanyards, didn't we? I know. Uh, don't we? Normally we have Disney ones. Because mm, we both use them for work. Wait till September. Yeah, well, I'll make up for that. Oh, it's me. And if you've watched all the vlogs, you'll know I was blanket hunting. So, this is the one I picked. Don't know how well you can see <laughs> oh, this, yeah. guys. But it is... The Jurassic Park logo on a blanket. Oh, it is so soft. soft. Me and Pluto have been snuggled up in this. He absolutely loves it. And yeah. so does Remy. The dogs love a good snuggle up in that, but that's why you wanted it, just so the dogs have a good yeah, snuggle Yeah, well, up every here. trip, we always take a blanket with us in our little carry-on case on the flight. And this year, we didn't, and I was cold on the way. I said, you don't need it. We was like, yeah, we're, we're just going for a week. What do we need a blanket for? And then I regretted not taking one. So I, then I was going to not buy it. And then I thought, if I'm cold on the plane home, or when I get home and lay on the sofa, I'm going to regret not buying this. But I've literally used it and snuggled with it every single day. Yeah. So it was really good. I love it. It was, was it $32? Oh, I have it wrote down because you know me and my memory. So it's $32.95. Which is really cheap for a blanket because I did see that Disney one 
which was a bit bigger. I'm, I'm pretty sure in the next trip you can And it was buy like that. double the price. If it's still there. Oh, it could be in the outlets when we go in September. Who We've knows? had that many times, haven't we? We've bought something and gone back. Yeah. But uh, if it's still in Port Orleans, then, you know. I'm going to buy it. Yeah, she will. Right, so next up, Vicky brought this sticker, pack of stickers, which Vicky loves a sticker pack. It was $12. And she's just got stickers for suitcase or yeah, my my or old suitcase. I literally covered. made it. I covered it in stickers, and but it you was don't really cool. No, I don't want to cover, the new, one, no, to cover the new one. But like my laptop's got stickers on it. And I always find something to put a sticker on. Yeah, so it could I just think they're stickers. really cool. And it's the and new new Universal Studios like design on stuff. So this this pattern, these sticker sort of effects are on um like lounge fly bag, bags, aren't they? T shirts. Yeah, it was it was all about. But yeah, she loves a good sticker pack. So yeah, not bad for $12. Is that all the Universal oh, merch? It can't be, can it? It is. So that is all the Universal merch, which I think it looks like we've bought more there than Disney, but not a bad amount. Oh, so we are now on to the outlets. So Oh, we went we went crazy. So when we went to the outlets, it was there was like a deal weekend. And it was like, was it some like big discount of the year or something Oh, it crazy. was like outlet, outlet day of the year or something. So too bad. We joined up on the on the website online and we went to there was like loads of people hanging about in these big stalls and they gave us this book um we just kept going into all the shops and then you were like type your email address in you get an extra 20 percent off or and it was nuts like i got one amazing bargain which i was gonna buy it anyway because i regretted not getting in september but the price i bought it for oh my god it was definitely worth buying and that was let me find it it was her coach bag. You've got it. It's at oh. your side. So, we got Vicky this coach side bag. She has wanted a coach bag for a long time. And she's somebody who talks herself out of stuff. And unless I drag her back in a shop, which I quite often have in the past, um, to get it, she won't buy it for herself. So for this this trip, with that discount they had, it was $111 for a coach bag. Which and I this think was, it was supposed to be like $340. Yeah, and we've seen them in the UK outlets for about $250. Yeah, because we and, live close by to the York outlet. Yeah. So we go there frequently, and I, I kept going in there. I was like, I'm sure it's cheaper in Florida. So anyway, it was a good job I did hang out because that was such a bargain. $111. I mean, purchased it straight people away. might think, oh my God, that's expensive for a little bag like that, but... Oh my it. god. I mean, the discount itself is just nuts. As you can see by our shopping, we like a few brands, but who doesn't in life? Um, and it just makes us feel good when we wear them. So if she wants that bag at that price, let her have it. It makes her feel real, real good. It's the same with many of the things that we've brought, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we just... Sometimes we don't even look at the price. We just think, oh, I like that. And then oh, we yeah, buy it. It's astronomical, we're not gonna. But, you know, if you want it, you want it. If you wear yeah. it hard, you've saved hard, get it spend hard yeah right let's see what we've got next so we went in the calvin klein shop i love calvin klein um just behind tommy tommy's my favorite but i do love calvin and we got this wash bag uh vicky's wanted a new wash bag it's got two pockets this one hasn't it yeah um and it was something like 20 dollars so it was meant to be like 70 odd dollars it was ridiculous yeah and I've been looking at like the leather ones for ages thinking, oh, I want a nice smarter one instead of, do you know the ones that you get in like free gift sets at Christmas? I thought, oh, I'll get myself one. And then I saw the price of that and I was like, right, that's coming up. But we need to have a clear out now of all the old ones we've got. Like you say, the free gift sets ones. But yeah, happy with that $20. What else did you get from Calvin Klein? Oh, I've got some socks, just some ankle ones for work. Um ankle black ones because we're coming into summer well we're meant to be coming into summer well, it's, it's, it's raining right now but anyway black black socks for work uh, these were so these were $18 and how many pairs are in there? It's six pack oh quite, that's good quite happy with that real thick that's I, like, I like three a quid sock. a pair of socks I'm happy with that we like a good sock oh yeah as you'll tell you'll be able to find out how much we like socks how much do we like socks dear? well I think we must have bought it about 24 pairs of socks between us. Oh, if I could afford to wear a new pair of socks every day, I would. Oh my god, there's no better feeling than putting a new pair of socks on, is there? There isn't, is there? But to be fair, I've been trashing a load of socks recently at work. Like, I've had, I've come, ho I kept coming home for like a week, and each each day I'd have a hole in a sock, 
So we've been filtering through all the old ones, so it was time to buy new ones. Right, speaking of socks, so we got these from Nike. So just the classic ones, white pair, and we also got black pack. So six in a pack, and it was $28 each. I mean, to be fair, I could probably buy them cheaper at home. It wasn't the fact of the price, it was just more the fact we needed socks. We were there, so I stuck them in. We're just stocking up on socks, aren't we, really? So the next ones, more boss socks. These were a, a grey and a black, white socks, normal socks, um, $13 each in the boss sock shop. So I thought that's an absolute bargain. Yeah, to be fair, three, three in each. They would have been cheaper in the boss shop than they were in Nike, but... Yeah, if we knew that at the time, you'd probably just bought extra of these, wouldn't you? But Yeah, but... Never mind, it's a variety, isn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. Is that all the socks? Yes, that is all of the socks. So while we're in the boss store, we bought Vicky some swimming shorts. They've got a nice, nice inner top bit there, haven't they? Found just the boss logo on the corner. Yeah, swim, the swimming material. Yeah. She likes boss. And they were $25.80. That's really good, actually. So, yeah, much cheaper than the UK. Yeah, because when I go swimming, I always like to swim in shorts, but I like my shorts a short length, and it's always hard for me to find. And then when I tried these on, I was like, ooh, these are nice. And then a t-shirt I made, Vicky, by, like, I absolutely loved this it This is her. really cool. I this can't wait was, to put this on. This was $58.80. So, it's the Tampa Bay Bucks, and it's just, like, the boss version, and then it says... And on the back, boss. Yeah, they did an NFL like collaboration, so and they've got quite a few things in. Yeah, and it was really cool. That maybe I love it. maybe next time we're there, we can get you another. There's different teams, wasn't there? Yeah, I mean, not that I'm an NFL supporter because I've never really watched it, but I just thought it was really nice and really cool. So we, we got one of these rules when Vicky's trying on stuff that if I find something I like, I make a try it on, and quite often she likes what I make a try on. But she wouldn't have picked it up, would you? Probably. No. Sometimes I just go into I go into a shop and I write right. You've got free rent. Go pick me a load of stuff and I'll go try it on. And then so I often of come them. I often come out the shop like buying it all because I'm not very good at picking for myself sometimes because I just don't take the time to look. I kind of just like quickly browse them like no. And in your own head, you don't like to buy stuff. She'd rather spend it on me, the cutie. Yeah, that's true. But I'm, like I say, I make her try things purposely because then. She fall in love with it once it's on, and then she'll get it. I'm more willing to buy things for myself on holiday. I think it's just when I'm at home and I'm just like, oh no, I best not buy anything. Right, what else you got that side? So we have Emma bought these Nike shorts. So they're just like a comfy oh, yeah. pair of like relaxed cotton shorts, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's for like travelling in and just like being comfy. Didn't I wear them on the plane on the way back? Yes, she did. Really, really comfy, them shorts. Uh, I'm not real one for wearing shorts in the UK. I don't like getting my legs out, but abroad, no one really knows me. So I brought them for basically just travel day there and back because they're just so comfortable. But I may wear them in the UK. Depends. How much was that? Uh, the shorts were... $13, I think? No, they were, like, more expensive. So it says they're $39.99, but I thought they were on offer. So maybe I've wrote it down wrong, but... But yeah, thirty nine ninety nine apparently. And the last Nike bit was I bought some Nike shorts. So I love these kind of like gym short material shorts in the park. I just they're so lightweight and so comfy. So as we're going back in September, I thought oh, I'll just treat myself to another pair. And they were Vicky's ones were twenty four ninety nine. Uh, she's always in shorts. In summer she'll wear shorts all the time. Um, until it turns cold and then that's it. She's, you know, no shorts. Or to the gym, won't you? Yeah. And on holiday, that's all you wear. So she loves a good short, Vicky. I will warn you, the thing about Nike in America is it isn't always that much cheaper. Like, I can probably buy things at the outlet in New York and it'd be cheaper than here. Very rarely do we find something yeah. crazy good price in the I outlets. I mean, the rest of, like, the Nike. outlets, we always find a good bargain. Oh, yeah. But we've, we've often struggled in Nike. But you can get a good trainer, but it's finding, finding the right it, size. If you can find your size, then you've won the lottery. Yeah, but cause I often find trainers definitely cheaper abroad for many shops, but not abroad. Sorry, in the UK. But uh, yeah, we didn't. We, we got them. Like I say, we could have gotten probably cheaper in the UK, but we got them because I've not seen them in the UK. Yeah, it's the point of we see it, we like it, we buy it, not yeah. the price. Right, next up, 
we went into America. Uh, it was was it the Samsonite shop? Samsonite or American Tourist shop. We brought these luggage tags because they match our. They're suitcases. American Tourist the ones. Yeah, so they match our cases. We 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 can't find the receipt. We weren't sure if they were six dollars each or six dollars for the pair. It was something crazy. I know when we bought them, we was like, oh my god, that's a steal. Yeah, because I think it was like when we got up there, there was a discount on them. I do believe it was six dollars for both. It was something crazy. But yeah, just to spot our uh, suitcases easy when they come off. But yeah, love these. Right. Next up, I bought some white chino shorts from Ralph Lauren. So they're just standard really smart shorts. Smart chino shorts in a white. Got the little logo behind your hand there. They are a, well, these are six inch shorts. Cause I like like five inch shorts and you can't normally buy chino shorts in that length. And these were a six. So I was like, oh, I love them because they're real comfy. They were $56. Which I don't think is too bad no, for. No, considering, let me Cone look on the price friend. tag. So full price, these would have been $89.50. So uh, yeah. actually, that's cheap for Ralph Lauren. Quite happy with them. Yeah. Right, next we have Bath and Body Works. We're kicking ourselves a little bit about this. Yeah, so we've just em we emptied the suitcase like to get ready to film this vlog. And I was like, I thought we bought more in Bath and Body Works. Why the hell not did we buy more? Y yeah, we were walked in there. We're kicking ourselves because like some of the stuff was like, what was it, $3? Three ninety five. There was tables everywhere on this discount day for three ninety five for just so much things. And I just don't know if we was tired by the end because we did this at the end, didn't we? I don't know if we was tired, thinking of going off or overwhelmed. I, I don't what know what it was, but we only brought a few items and we were a bit annoyed with ourselves. Yeah, but we are. Like, why didn't we buy like six of the same shower gel? Like, it stunk it up for a year. Mad. So we got this shower gel. Um, it is Tahiti Island Dream. Oh, it's, 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 it smells, it smells really good, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, I can't wait to shower with that. I wish you could smell it. smells like a tropical island, like when you're on holiday. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it reminds me of holiday vibes. Yeah. So, yeah, we got one of them ones. And then we also got the, like, body mist sprays. So I just wanted them for the my same. work bag. Yeah, Mel likes these at work instead of, like, perfume and stuff. Yeah, or I'm going to put on. one in the car. It's just sort of... just. Just to smell nice every now and then when you when you wanna. But yeah, I got two of them, one for my bag, one for my car. And I got another body wash, which it's is cucumber, cucumber melon. melon. Oh, we love like cucumber smells, don't we? Yeah, it's really nice that one. All really them. summery as well. They were like it was like a big summer sale and they were like three dollars something each. It yeah. was absolutely mad. Even these. Yeah, so. they're, they're, these ones are normally fifteen dollars and that one says it on the back, like sixteen ninety five maybe. Yeah. For seventeen dollars that one. So for three ninety five. So mean, we're sat here absolutely kicking ourselves, and you'll be telling us off from the screen as well. Why didn't you buy more? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what we're thinking now. Yes, Why so did we not? All for three ninety five each. Real happy with that. Because I doubt there'll be bargains like that in September. We'll see. But who knows? What else have we got? Oh, Emma's favourite shop. Tommy. If you know Emma, you know. Tommy Hilfiger, and yeah. she loves a good sweater. I so. Love this. I really wanted to wear it. She's just plain white. I haven't had the time. The thing is, Emma has back. loads of white sweaters, and every time she wears something, like, oh no, I've spilt spag ball down it. So I'm having to. So I don't like her buying white sweaters, but but I made an really exception. Good, that. <laughs> and Vicky will get the mark out for me. So that uh, Tommy jumper was twenty eight dollars. That's really good. That yeah, it's cheap in it. Like some of the deals that there was, which is absolutely door is crazy. Cheaper. And especially if so, when you go to the till and someone says, oh, can I put your email address in? Never say no because you often get like an extra 20% off. So don't ever not put your email address in. You can just delete the spam emails. Don't worry about that. It's the discounts you want. <laughs> and then, while I was in Tommy. So you got some shorts. So same shorts in blue and a white. Yeah, so it's like a, a chino short, isn't it? Yeah. And then me white ones as well. And they've just got the Tommy logo on. And uh, I wanted these for, you know, like in the night when we're in Yeah, if we go out for tea or something, it's just, like not like, in the park. Or yeah, if we go to a different shorts. holiday when we're supposed to go to Turkey on a night, that'd have been nice. It would have been good for Turkey. We'd be going there again. Uh, they were twenty three ninety nine each. So I think that's a bargain, personally. I mean, if you went to next and bought a pair of shorts like that. Oh, be more. Yeah, it wouldn't be much different, so. So I'm really happy with that. Yeah, I can't wait to wear that hoodie. It looks so snuggly. I'm all out on my side. Is there anything more on yours? Not, not apart from a dog. So I, I do think we got plenty in the short time we were there. 
I mean, it is quite, we probably bought more in a week than people buy on a big trip, but we're big spenders. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we love to shop. And we did uh, actually say, had we probably not have gone mad like that at the outlets, we would have done a day in Disney. But after we'd gone to the outlets and looked at the bags and spent all that, and we was like, right, maybe we'll just have to wait for Disney. Yeah, because we would have gone. Not only would it have cost like nearly $500 to go into Disney for I think a it was $164 a person for a one-day ticket in Magic Kingdom, which we would have been willing to pay, but then once we realised that if we'd gone to Magic Kingdom, how many snacks would we have bought? How much food and literally would have gone in the Emporium and all the merch bags would have been coming out of us. You just know it, we know it. So we thought we were being sensible. For the sake of a few months, we'll save it. But I don't think that we'll ever do a trip not going to a Disney park again. No, I mean as much as we absolutely love the we trip. We had an amazing time oh, and yeah. I won't I won't change it, but it was difficult not going into the park. I mean, I know you can go to the resorts and like Disney Springs and stuff and you still get the feels and the vibes and the smells, but nothing beats stood in front of that castle or a hug from Mickey. So, do you think you'd want to do it again without going to Disney? Oh, no, no, definitely not. Like, I love Dockside. We, we all, we have, we've often like tried to do a night in Universal so we're there for the, for the stay, but it's Disney all the way for us and it will be going forwards. But we will adventure over to Universal and yeah, do we, the odd if stay. Yeah, if we want stays back in Universal, we'll definitely go back to Dockside. That was beautiful. I loved it. There. Absolutely stunning. It yeah. was really nice. So if you are looking to go to Dockside, it's a 100% recommendation from us. Definitely. But yeah, that is everything from us. Yeah. So the next time you'll see us, isn't that isn't that far away? Like, no. It's like about two, three months away. Yeah. And we'll be back off to Florida. I know we're really lucky. Um, we we've got quite a lot of plans so haven't we on the go I need to get filling in my spreadsheet even more but we're meeting a lot of friends we've got a lot of things booked we're just excited Lots of plans. yeah Kim Emma's sister who's coming with us she's like counting down the days bless her she's really excited can't wait to nah. s- it's gonna be like even more exciting than normal because like Kim's been many 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 years ago so she doesn't she won't remember like certain things and there's lots of new things since she's been so living that excitement through her is going to be really exciting yeah she's going to be like a kid isn't she yeah I can't wait um so yeah please stay tuned right so that's it from us so we will be back very soon on the screens because we are going in September back to Florida so we might do a little pre-Florida video with our plans I think I need to get that spreadsheet on the go. Dining reservations are very soonly about to come up, so I need to get booking. I'm very excited for that. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to like, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you real soon. Goodbye. Goodbye!